When you create online course websites and membership websites, one of the most annoying things is setting up your website and you start getting all these emails, people asking you where things are on your website. So the solution to that is to create a dashboard which has all the features that you need. Let me show you what this looks like. So over here is our main dashboard. So when your subscribers or when your students log onto your website, ideally they need to come to a page that looks similar to this because this page here will direct them to everywhere or anywhere they need to go. For example, if they need to go in and download something, they can just come over here to downloads and they'll be directed to the downloads. Otherwise, you're going to have so many links on your navigation and it's going to be very hard for people to find those links. But on this dashboard, it's much, much easier. And also, if they want to take a look at their account, they can just click here on account and this will link them to the accounts page and so on. If they need specific support, they log in and this is what they see. So this is the solution to having a much easier to use website for your courses or for memberships. All right, so before we begin, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. And also if you buy LearnDash, you get access to my LearnDash mastery course. And this course again, teaches you how to design your online course website from scratch. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to create this dashboard for your websites. Let's dive in. All right, so the very first thing we need to do is to create uh, a page which people redirect to as soon as they log into the website. So we can call this page whatever we want, but I like going with my dashboard. So let's go ahead and create this page. So I'm gonna come over here, click on add new, and we are just going to call this my dashboard. Okay, let's click on use Divi Builder. And now we're gonna design this page using our Divi Builder, and we're also gonna build this from scratch. Okay, so I'm gonna click here on build from scratch, and let's start off here with a single column, and then uh, I'm just gonna add a text module in here because this is where our main title is gonna be. All right, so now that we've added our text module, we're gonna go in and add our text, and it's just gonna say my dashboard, so that people know where they are when they land on your page. So I'm just gonna add my dashboard. And then over here on the design, let's go in and customize this text. In fact, you know what? We can set this text here to heading one just to make things easier for us. Okay, next I'm gonna come over here to design, heading text, and making sure heading one is selected. We're gonna make this all caps. I'm gonna make it nice and bold. And we could also center it. I think that looks better centered. So that's looking okay. I'm gonna leave this um, as it is for now because I need to go in and uh, work on the next item. Okay, so here now I'm gonna add another row and this time, in fact, you know, it can be a single column, but uh, of course you can uh, divide this into whatever you want. So let me just show you quickly how we can do this easier with just a single column. So what we need to add in here is a blurb. So I'm gonna search for blurb, right. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go into detail and style this the way we want. And then once we're happy with it, this is what we're going to duplicate uh, to make things faster for us. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna do here is to name all these blurbs uh, according to where you want to direct people to when they log on to your website. So this very first one here, let's call this downloads. So this is what's gonna direct them to whatever you have on your membership website or on your course website to go and download stuff, okay? And uh, we can also have a description here, but uh, you know what, I'm gonna do this at the end. So I'm gonna come over here to image and icon and I'm gonna go and look for an icon here that uh, pretty much gives us an idea that this is to do with downloading. So I know there's an icon here which has a cloud. I may have, oh, here we go, here it is. Okay, so that's our icon there, great. Now let's go in and customize this text. So I'm gonna click here on this title. We're gonna make it all caps and we're also going to make it bold and we're going to give it a description. So the description here, I'm just gonna use some lorem text, but in your case, you can go in and say, this is where you need to click to download all your um, files for the course or download all your assets for particular lessons, or whatever it is. So anyway, I'm gonna come back over here and click on text and we're gonna replace this with our text. Great, so now that we have our text in here, we need to further customize this. So what we're gonna do is we're first going to give this a border. So I'm gonna come over here, 
click on border and uh, our border width here is going to be two and let's give this a color so i'm just going to give this a very light gray there we go okay next i'm going to give this some rounded corners so i'm just going to give this about six we don't want to do too much so six is fine but as we can see here we don't have enough space around uh, our blurb so we need to go into um, our spacing here and add some padding so we want to do this to the top both to the top bottom left and right so let's start with say 30 and that looks great already and i'm also going to do this to the left and the right as well now looking at this i think i may want to increase this a little bit so let's go with uh, let's try 42 yeah and we're going to do 42 here as well okay i think that looks better now i'm going to go back over here to my text and uh, we're just going to make this regular and we're going to increase the size as well so i want to go with uh, 16 make sure it's 16 pixels there we go so that looks much better now now in regards to the icon you can change the color of the icon to whatever color you want so to just uh, to make things simple here i'm just gonna set this here to a gray i know it sounds boring but in your case you can use colors that work with your branding okay so this is our first item here so i'm gonna go ahead now and save okay so now that i've designed this the next step now is to go back here to my row settings and in here what, I, what i'm going to do is just to duplicate this a few times so i'm going to do it three times but in your case you can do it twice depending on how much information you have on your website uh, that you need to direct people to okay so now that i have this all set what i can do now is to go into each one of these so i'm going to go into this one here and we're going to change this to my account okay and that's the description that goes with it and uh, for my account let's head over here and choose an icon so the icon i'm going to go with is let's have a look here so let's see what icon goes with uh, an account you know what i wish we could do here i wish we could go in and um, search for the particular icons that we need so that could work but you know what let's look for solid ones so i'm just going to go down here and um, perhaps i could use this one here but to be honest it doesn't look great but anyway for the purpose of this uh, example i'm going to leave that as it is because that's what works best with uh, an account so i'm going to save that over here i'm going to go back in here and choose and name this support okay and let's choose our icon so i'm going to come over here and i'm going to go for the support icon and here we go right so that's our icon and let me see if we have a different version of this okay so it looks like i don't have one so i'm gonna go with that one all right so now that we have all this set we have three items here but in your case you may have more than three so the quickest way to uh to add more of these um what should we call them <laughs> these massive icons is to head over here and just duplicate this simple as that so once you duplicate this you can now go in and rename this to whatever you want so this could be let's say uh, this is support okay so this could be community there you go so this could direct people to you know where you can have your forum or even a private facebook group and uh, you can go ahead and also uh, come to this one here and this could be special bonuses or yeah actually bonuses works really well okay so this one could be bonuses and then you can also go in and change the icon so i'm going to come over here and choose an icon that goes with bonuses so i'm going to come all the way down here and uh, the icon i'm going to go with is this one right here like that so as you can see it's uh, easy to go in and uh, make these changes and uh, add all these icons and direct them to wherever you want now here's the thing if you want to direct i mean to uh, point this to the right place what you want to do is you want to click here on your settings and go straight to the link okay so this is where you add the module link so this by doing it this way here it's much much easier because if you try to go in and uh, do it any other way it's not going to work correctly so you want this whole thing to just be like a button okay so that's what you want to do so once you add your link that way uh, this will link to your downloads page this one here will link to your account page for your visitors as soon as they log in and so on 
Right, now over here on the top, let's go in and let's just uh, change the color here of our heading. So I'm gonna go to my heading text and just change my color. So what I'm gonna go with is, yeah, I'll go with a slightly darker gray. Okay, let's go with that. I know this is very, you know, looking very simple, but of course, you know, you can customize this and make it look however you want. Now, here's the thing. Now, let's say you want to make this a bit more stylish. You can go into uh, this module here and add a hover effect. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and add a hover effect. So I'm gonna come over here to my settings and then I'm gonna click here on design. I'm gonna come all the way down here to transform. So we're just going to do a basic sort of like a zoom in when you hover over it, okay? So I am going to uh, click here on this little icon and then go and hover. So I'm just going to increase this by just a little bit. So I'm going to set this to 105, 105. There we go. So you can see it's a very slight, very slight change. So that's what we're going to do here. All right, so now that I've uh, added this feature here on the hover, the next stage now is to extend this to pretty much all the other items here because the hover is only happening on this one. So I'm gonna right click here and then I'm gonna say extend blurb styles. Okay, and then I'm gonna say extend to this page because I don't have anything else on this page so I can just extend it that way. And pretty much our styles are across the whole page. Now let's take a look here and see if this is going to work. So I'm gonna exit my visual builder here. And if we hover, this should, you know, zoom out or yeah, zoom out on hover. Yep, so there we go, it's working now. So the hover now is working. So this is going to be your main dashboard. Okay, so now that we've created my dashboard page, all we have to do now is to uh, redirect users so that when they log in, it takes them to that page as the main page. Because when you design course websites, one of the most annoying thing is getting emails, people asking you, where is this? Where can I find that? Where can I find this? Because it means that your login page does not look great. So this is how you would create the redirect page where people go to, and this is where they would find out where to go from there. So look at it as a proper dashboard, which directs people to go to specific places on your website. So this is what I highly recommend when you design your membership websites or your course websites. All right, so pretty much that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.